My name is Isaac Payne. I'm the head coach of Savannah College of Art and Design, all new fishing team. Um, I'm here today to witness Noah's signing, which is an amazing event. Um, he is our first men's signing for our program. Um, he does a lot of creative things both on and off the water. Um, most people know him for Kicking Their Bass TV. Um, that's how I was able to find out about Noah. Um, but he's a great asset to our program. I'm really excited that his uh, love for video and capturing different scenes in his show can kind of fit into our school and he's able to link the two together both on and off the water. Hey guys, Chris Brown with Rigid Industries LED Lighting here tonight with uh, the Pescatelli family as Noah's getting ready to sign his letter of intent to go fish for Savannah College of Art and Design, uh, SCAD I guess as it's referred to. So really kind of an exciting deal obviously. Uh, uh, as old as I am, fishing wasn't around for colleges when it was going on, otherwise I probably would have stayed in college a little bit longer than what I did, but uh, really neat opportunity for Noah. Um, great kid, known him for a long time, and I watched him grow up and come through the high school fishing ranks and uh, really seen what he's done social media wise and what he's been able to do for his sponsors uh, and for his family and uh, really super proud of the kid. He's a really good kid and uh, really, really proud and excited for his family and, and for him. So really excited to see where he goes and what he does from here and um, look forward to, to, to seeing his career grow and evolve down the road. High school guys got to go around and talk to the anglers and listen to little seminars and everything. And these two guys went to every single one of them, and I've never seen somebody more intent than that one right there. He didn't say anything at all. Yeah, you didn't say a word, though, but you listened. You listened to everything that was said. And you and I were talking in that pouring down rain at West Point, and you told me, you go, dude, I'm allergic to fish. I'm like, what do you mean you're allergic to fish? You go, yeah, I'm allergic to fish. Can't touch them or whatever. And I said, so why do you do this? And you go, because he loves to fish. I do it because of him. Dude, that just, that was the most, that, that's the coolest thing in the world. So proud of you, proud of both of you guys, proud of you. Dude, congratulations. I'm excited to see where this goes and see what you do. And, um, I, you know, like everybody else in this room, um, dude, we're in your corner. And we've got it all goes back to my dad taking me fishing and, and you know the whole take a kick fishing thing and all I did was take him out for a, a short trip and with the help of his dad and his passion for the sport and being able to feel that bite and set that hook and know I, I love living through him I, I'm always on the internet now he's you know whenever I find out he's fishing they got live stream going I'm sitting in a chair and my wife's going what are you doing watching Noah yep that's what I'm doing <laughs> I hope you do big things and take scat to the next level. All I gotta say is every time we're out fishing, it's the best time of my life. Me, Steve, Noah, I don't know how it can get any better. So uh, I gotta say one thing, and you might get mad at me. <laughs> Love. And son, you've taught me so much. Because your drive and your unwavering steadiness and things that you teach me that you don't even know that you teach me. When I, we get in a tournament and things are going wrong. I'm, I'm shaking my head. I'm beating myself in the face and I'm just like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. And he's like, Dad, you, you can't make a fish bite. You, you can't make this happen. If it wasn't meant to be, it wasn't meant to be. So in some way, son, you're such a better man than I am. And out of all the things I've been through in life and all the things I've accomplished, you are my greatest accomplishment and I just appreciate you sharing your life with me. Noah was uh, a very quiet learner. He, he didn't he didn't speak a lot. He never you know there just was not a lot of uh, uh, voice about hey this you know yeah I, I get this or let's do that or I don't understand that. And I remember Steve explained to me it's like you know he's listening he's soaking it all in he's got it but he's just not you know he just doesn't verbalize a lot it's just who he is you just got to understand that. And uh, so from that point, you know, because you know, at first I thought, well, maybe he's really not serious about it because he's really not giving me any verbal feedback. But 
you know, after a couple trips, and we, we did a number of trips over a couple years, probably, I don't know, 15 trips or so, a lot. Uh, like you were saying before, Robbie was saying before, it's like, man, this kid fished. And Steve was so dedicated to getting him out, uh, regardless of the situation, whether we went alone, together, uh, as a group, whatever the case was, Steve got him out. And uh, taught him so many of the things I thought that were just critical to where he is today, that uh, the importance of the social media platforms, you know, promoting yourself. Uh, I, I just think it's an awesome, awesome process. So Noah, congratulations. Great work, man. It's going to be a great uh, four years for you at SCAD, and I'm sure a lot coming ahead. And he, just like Jim was saying, he, he wasn't very talkative, um, and to see him come across as the person that he is now, learning and achieving the things that he's achieved. Um, it, it's, it's an honor to be a part of that and to see that part of it grow. Um, the other part is, is the fact that you're going to be going on four more years, hopefully further than that, uh, to actually do something that you actually have a passion for and a lot of people don't get to do that, uh, especially at the level that you're going to be able to do that at. Um, and with that being said, congratulations and I hope you have a very good future. Thank you. It's exciting to me to see a young person in our industry elevate our industry like you have. And the use of social media, and I'm excited. To see, there's very few kids that have signed a scholarship. You're one of the first to be from right here in Gwinnett County. It's fabulous. Well, as Dylan said, we met Noah and Steve about four years ago when they arrived in the 17-foot foot, 17 foot red nitro with a nondescript little fish finder in the front. And all Steve said is help us catch fish on a regular basis. The very first thing we did was got him an eight inch Lorance. And when this thing arrived, he said, it's too big, it's huge. It's huge. Needless to say, was it three to six months later, he had a bigger boat. <laughs> and ever since then, Noah has just grown in leaps and bounds. Um, the two of you have worked fantastic as a team together. What I saw in the young man and what he's been given is, is, a, is just a, a good heart and a good person. No matter what everything else goes in life, that, that to me is awesome. And I talk, I got a little boy who's eight years old and he asked me about you. He sees you on Facebook and stuff like that. So that, that's awesome in my part. This guy's a limit, brother. And uh, I'm proud for you. I'm, all, I'm proud for you folks. I mean, you're a good kid. Fast forward, Isaac calls me about six months ago and says, hey, I got this new job. You're not going to believe it. And I said, what's going on? And he goes, I'm the head fishing coach at SCAD. And I said, no way. And he said, yep. He says, I'm going to make a difference. And I said, man, I'm so excited for you. 30 days went by and he called me again. And he said, hey, you got a minute? And I said, yeah. He goes, I got scholarships now. He goes, I can offer these kids scholarships. And he goes, I want you to be my eyes and ears. And I told him, he said, I got my eyes on a couple people. But he goes, I need some help. And I said, hey, there's this kid down here in Gwinnett County. I said, he's all over the internet, and we met at Bass Pro once or twice doing seminars and stuff, and I said, but you need to check this kid out. And uh, I guess two or three days went by, and Isaac called me back, and he said, hey, I'm going to be up in uh, Gwinnett at a fishing tournament. I want you to meet me there. And this was about 30, 45 days ago. And I said, I think Noah's fishing in this tournament. I said, you need to go over there and meet him. So he drove all the way up from Savannah to meet Noah that day, and since that day, They've had the whirlwind tour of Savannah. <laughs> They've got to go down there and visit the school. And uh, he, he called me this morning on the way driving up here and he said, Tom, thank you. He said, these are the young men and the women that he signed already too that I want for my school. Uh, I've seen something here tonight that is uh, really uh, beneficial for you, son. And it's something you can't ever put together without help. And it looks like you've got two parents that has helped all they could. And uh, getting in the fishing business is tough. I ask a lot of guys, you've met a lot of pros that are always looking for the secret. And I think your parents have led you in one direction that is incomparable to get into, and that's friendship. You're sitting in here, I've been in marine business going on 38 years this year, and some of these guys in this room are the best of the best. And uh, it's kind of neat that your dad has seeked that out and that you have seeked that out. And uh, I don't know that you got any better mentors than some of the guys around this area. So thanks for all the guys here. I've dealt with some of these guys probably about all those 38 years. <laughs> Noah's been a great guy, very big inspiration at the company. It's kind of hard to believe uh, 
and a company full of old guys that uh, you've got new guys coming into the business such as Noah that's really doing a great job uh, with this video and that kind of thing. Uh, we look forward every time he sends over and uh, I know everybody at the plant really enjoys it. Uh, we kind of see uh, something with Noah that we haven't seen with a lot of guys. He's come in and really done a good job with the video and his stuff, but also his uh, marketing efforts he's done with uh, the boats and stuff. He seems to really treat everybody on a real even level as far as his salesmanship on the uh, things that he talks about in his videos. So you don't really get that kind of uh, what would you want to say, uh, aftertaste uh, of somebody trying to sell you on something. So it's kind of really done a good job for us, for us to use it after he's uh, made the videos and stuff too. Another thing it's done is it's drawn a lot of attention to young people in the fishing. And that's one thing we've had a lot of trouble through the years, getting the young guys into the fishing business. And uh, it's opened up all kind of avenues and we're really excited for him with this Savannah college thing here. Perfect grandson. I've, I've fished with him since he's been three years old. We did a lot of fishing together over the years. But he's always got the good attitude. He wants to do things right. And there's only one way to do it. Nothing right. Nothing right he was talking. But uh, he made my life a lot easier. We fished uh, Salt water, we fish. Fresh water, we fish. Mud holes, we've done everything, okay? <laughs> and uh, but Noah's just a special kid in my eyes, which he's my grandson. That one couldn't be the happier grandparent in the world than I am. So, I love him to death. Can't say much more than that. I could, but I don't want to do that. <laughs> We love him so much. He, just like his grandfather said, he, he's made our life better. So much better. I love you. A few years back, I had the opportunity of meeting this young man. Throughout my 40 plus years in the marine industry, I've let, I have met a lot of pro fishermen, the biggest to the smallest. One thing that this kid's got going for him is his work ethics. Can you imagine how hard it is to put together all that video, go do the fishing, uh, take care of all these things? I mean, the one tool that a pro fisherman needs, it needs is to be able to promote himself. And that's what this kid is, right? He's a walking billboard. He really knows how to do that because he really works at it. As the a, as a tournament uh, ended, I got to looking at my fish and they were shrinking and he came up there and they were five pound spots. I came back to work the next day and some of my fishing buddies come in with their boats. And they said, Perry, how did you do in the tournament? I said, well, I, I don't really want to talk about it. He says, well, well what happened? I said, well, Pester Kelly beat me. He says, I can't believe you let that kid beat you. <laughs> I says, well, I'll tell you what, Jail, you go down there and let him throw some five pound spots in your face. <laughs> You're the real deal, and I wish the best, son. Live the day. I'd like to thank everyone who came out, friends, family, our sponsors, um, Isaac from SCAD, the head coach of the fishing club for coming out, um, Mickey Fur with the Ranger Rep, um, Chris Brown from Ridge and Industries. I'm just so thankful for everyone who came out and, um, and how far some of them traveled to be here just for my signing, and I'm, I really appreciate all that. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I know it was really long, but I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up and I'll catch you guys in the next video.